Breaking news. Garuba Shewu, Buhari's spokesman, says Buhari Tinubu saves Nigerian democracy. Now, this is part of the secret arrangement you don't know or some things that have gone on in Nigeria. And that's why some time ago, Tinubu spoke about, although he did not speak it out very, he did not spell it out as it is, but he spoke about betrayer. He made mention of, I don't betray people. If you follow the politics of Nigeria very well, Tinubu was one of such people, humanly speaking, who stood behind Buhari, put down his money and then whatever he can put down to see to it that Buhari became the president of Nigeria. Now, we're rooting for Tinubu. Not at all. We're just going back in time of history to explain to us some of the things that have gone on and why Tinubu feel very entitled to become Nigeria's next president. At the time when all this were happening, the plan was for him to become uh, the vice president. But guess what? Uh, Muslim Muslim thicket was seriously kicked against, and he was the one who suggested Professor Yemi Osibanjo. In case you're not aware, think about it very seriously. People have been rooting for Professor Yemi Osibanjo to take over from Buhari, but he has told everybody, I cannot be your president. Yeah, I mean, not, very, not vividly well, that way, but he has said he has not publicly declared and has continued to reject anybody suggesting that he will become Nigerian's president because he knows the agreement that was that's on ground please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe let's get all the details garuba shewu spokesman to president muhammad buhari says mr buhari and former Lagos state governor bola tinobu saved nigerian democracy with a margin that bettered the all progressive congress that defeated the people Buhari and former Lagos State Governor Bola Tinubu saved Nigerian democracy with a merger that birthed the All Progressive Congress that defeated the People Democratic Party in 2015 presidential election. President Muhammad Buhari reconstructed political parties and formed this country's biggest political merger in partnership with people like Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu and saved the country's democracy by installing a new administration that is in charge oriented, Mr. Garuba Shewu has said. The spokesman made this statement in an interview with BBC Pigeon on Saturday when he explained that Mr. Buhari's changing of political parties cannot be likened to Benue State Governor Samuel Uto, who moved from one party to another, he said. Mr. Buhari was a member of Congress for Progress Change that merged to form the All Progressive Congress. It was formed. Mr. Otom is a member of APC until 2018 when he dumped the party to join the People Democratic Party. However, contrary to Garuba Shewu claim that Mr. Buhari saved the country democracy, instead the regime has been notorious for gross human rights abuse, extradition killing of protesters, massive clamp down on media, considered by many as the worst Nigerian history. Mr. Buhari's disobedience to court order detained former National Security Advisor Dan Suka uh, Sambo, Sahar reporter, Omoyele Showore, separationist leader Nandi Kanu, and leader of the Islamic movement of Nigeria, Ibrahim, and his wife for several months in spite of court order granting them bail. Nigerians have also witnessed ceaseless number of killing by prote of protesters across the country as the police and army continue to open life rounds on protesting citizens since Buhari assumed office in 2015. In 2015, shortly after Mr. Buhari came into power, over 348 members of Shita Islamic group were massacred and buried in a mass grave by the Nigerian military for standing against Muhammad Buhari. Amnesty International had in 2016 reported how Nigerian military military extra judiciary killing of less of nothing less than 150 pro protesters or Biafra protesters in the southeastern part of the country and many more atrocities too numerous to mention. So you see, Buhari, Buhari and his government, we don't know where they are coming from. We don't know where, where what they are talking about. 
because truly really speaking this is one of the worst governments we've ever had in the history of nigeria not because anybody's speaking against them but that is just what it is it is what it is this is one of the worst administration we've had in modern history i mean since 1960 even the military era was far better i can assure you even the military era was far better. You'll be surprised things that have gone on. You think the media reports everything? Excuse me. If you hear some things that have gone on since Buhari came in, you will know that this administration is a bloodthirsty one. Oh, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Do you know lives that have been destroyed? Do you know families that you know, cannot be put together? Do you, know, do you know things that have gone on? You will look at it and you will wonder, what is going on? Are we, are we really in this government or is there something else? You know, you will wonder really truly what is going on. That's how much of a bloodthirsty government. You know, this, this government really feeds on blood because if they do not, they will not allow the killings that have been going on. And this government will rise up to the occasion, you know, and, and say, you know, and, and say it as it is, addressing the full and But guess what? They cannot even address the full and ease because if you listen to these very guys with the ones that have been caught out, they say they are repentant and they are ready to really spill the beans, you know, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked what they say. They said Buhari sent them. They say it out. There's no, I mean, there's no fear or favor about it. They just say it as it is, you see. You'll be shocked and, and surprised. You see, Tinubu and Buhari, they knew exactly what they've done. They know exactly what they've done. They knew how far, they know how far they've gone, you know, in Nigeria to ensure that Buhari comes on board. And this is why Tinubu feel very entitled that he has to become the next president because part of the plans was, okay, if I don't become the president and uh, I provide somebody, a Christian, who fits the profile, who becomes the vice president, okay, what will happen next is that um, when you guys are done with your eight years, I will come on board. But, you know, it's not always, what, what, you, see, what you see is not all, all, always all that there is. As we speak, it has gone beyond that because right now we are saying that, you know, the age of Tinubu, his health, and a whole lot more is playing out. The, the opposition are not going to sit back and allow you to just have your way and just do whatever you want to do. And nobody, and there is no opposition. No, it doesn't work that way. So when you look at it, there is a lot more involved. You know, it's not, it's not business as usual. It's not business as usual. So these are some of the things ongoing. These are some of the things happening. And then we'll see as the days progresses what happens next. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.